Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and like this video. It does help me keep making videos, and I would appreciate it majorly. All right, so I want to try to update you on the situation in Libya. This is now Sunday late morning on the East Coast in Philadelphia, and uh, it has continued to intensify for sure. Um, the fighting continues. In fact, the latest news over the BBC is that the UN is um, calling for a tree, uh, just a, a ceasefire momentarily so that people can tend to the wounded and emergency personnel can get in there and, and help people that have been affected by the fighting. So, and that's actually called for 1600 hours, 1600 hours local time, which as I understand it, if I understand military time, that's now, you know, between, I think for the next two hours, they called for a ceasefire, whether or not that was honored or not, I'm not real sure. The reporting is, you know, um, there's a delay there. So, and I continue to learn more about the situation, basically General, General Khalifa Haftar, who's uh, pictured right there, I think continues his advance on Tripoli. You know, there's fighting going on, uh, I think, to the west of the city as well as in the southern part of the city. Yesterday it was reporting that airstrikes were done by the GNA. That's the GNA, the Government National Accord or something like that. That's basically the UN-backed government uh, that has a prime minister, I assume, that was appointed by the UN. I forget his name. I'll get to it in the report. You know, that airstrikes have been um, conducted on General Khalifa Haftar's advancing forces Saturday in the southern part of the city, somewhat halting him. You know, and then it, and actually there's an airport that supposedly is disused, as they called it, basically not being used. So I don't know where these airstrikes are being, you know, launched from, from the GNA. But um, there were reports that Haftar had, had, had seized that uh, and was going to be using that to conduct his, uh, his own airstrikes. I, don't, I didn't even realize he has um, aircraft a assets, but apparently he does because overnight or, 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 or early Sunday morning, he himself had retaliated with, with uh, airstrikes in the southern part of the city. You know, I think that's affecting, you know, c you know civilians in the city and not real sure so I think on both sides the we're talking about outdated aircraft and crude you know um, you know just not um, not much of an air force to speak of on either side but I didn't even realize that he had air assets aircraft assets but apparently he does so but you as you read through the BBC article the New York Times is reporting on it as well you know, it definitely seems to be intensifying to the point where the U.S. has a very small conting contingency of, of troops in Tripoli that it, that it has pulled out by boat. You know, uh, Tripoli's on the north northern sea border there. I don't even know if that's, I guess that's the Mediterranean Sea. It's North Africa, uh, Tripoli. But we have a small contingency of troops that we, we have already pulled out of there. And we're more or less sort of um, not backing anybody. We're kind of waiting to see, you know, who wins. I mean, that's what it sort of seems like. And there's so many different factions. Each city, after the, you know, after the, after Muammar Gaddafi was taken down, each city basically has its own independent militia. There's there's dozens of them, if not more, you know, with two major major forces: the the, the UN backed um, government in Tripoli. And General Haftar <coughs> and uh, General uh, Khalifa Haftar uh, forces that basically control much of the eastern part of Libya, which includes Benghazi. Those are the two main main cities uh, in um, in Libya. So, but uh, in addition to us pulling out uh, our small contingency of forces, I think non-essential personnel from the UN have been evacuated or uh, pulled out, as well as. You know, employees of ENI, the um, Italian oil and, and gas company, I think based in Tripoli, they've per pulled their per personnel out as well. I'm just trying to illustrate that it seems to be, you know, it seems to be um, dialing up, not down. So, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I like, I'm just learning a lot of this now, but I kind of have a feeling this dude, uh, he actually may end up taking over the country. 
Now, I mean, they were saying in, in the New York Times article that basically from where, where Tripoli is based to, based to his main, you know, Benghazi, his supply lines are extremely extended now so that it basically if he's not able to, to uh, um, assure a quick victory in tri Tripoli, he could, he could have to retreat. So, uh, so we'll have to wait and see, you know. All right, so it says UN has urged rival forces fighting near the Libyan capital to halt fighting for two hours so casualties and civilians can be evacuated. On Sunday, rebel forces under General Khalifa Haftar said they had carried out an airstrike in, the, in southern Tripoli. General Haftar's troops have advanced from the east uh, with the aim of taking the capital, Tripoli. The UN-backed prime minister has accused him of attempting a coup and says rebels will be met with force. The UN said hostilities should cease at 1600 local time to allow access for emergency services. International powers have, all, have also begun evacuating personnel from Libya amid the worsening security situation. Libya has been torn by violence and political instability since the longtime ruler Muammar Gaddafi was deposed and killed in 2011. General Haftar's Libyan National Army forces have been carrying out multi-pronged attack from the south and west of the city since Thursday on Sunday. The LNA, the Libyan Libyan National Army said it carried out its first airstrike a day after UN-backed government and National Accord hit them with an airstrike on Saturday. Fighting, fighting has continued around the disused international airport south of the capital that General Haftar earlier said his forces had seized. Forces loyal to GNA have slowed the advance, and on Sunday, a GNA spokesman told Al Jazeera TV that GNA now intended to cleanse the whole of the country. What evacuate, evacuations have already taken place? U.S. Africa Command responsible for U.S. military operations and liais, liaison in Africa said due to the increased unrest, it had relocated a contingent, a contingent of U.S. forces temporarily, but gave no further details on, on the numbers. There were reports of a fast amphibious craft being used in the operation to basically pull out America's small contingent of forces there. India's, India's external affairs minister, Sushma Swaraj said its full contingent of full contingent of 15 Central Reserve Police Force peacekeepers had been evacuated from Tripoli because the situation in Libya has suddenly worsened. It definitely is dialing up. It's getting worse. Italian Italian multinational oil and gas company ENI decided to evacuate all its Italian personnel from the country. The UN is is also due to pull out non-essential staff. Residents of Tripoli have reportedly begun stocking up food and fuel, but be B BBC Arab Affairs editor Sebastian Usher says many of those near the fighting are remaining in their homes for now for fear of looting should they leave. Some fear a long operation which General Haftar mounted to take the eastern city of Baghazi from Islamist fighters. So Libya has been racked by unrest since the overthrow of Gaddafi. Dozens of militias operate in the country. Recently, they have been allying with either the UN-backed GNA based in Tripoli or the LNA under General Haftar, a tough anti-Islamist who has the support of Egypt and the UAE and is strong in eastern Libya. General Haftar held Gaddafi seized power in 1969. The United Uni government created talks in 2015, but the struggle has struggled to assert national control. Prime Minister Fayez al Sarraj delivered a TV address on Saturday saying he would defend the capital. Mr. Sarraj said he had offered concessions to General Haftar to avoid bloodshot, only to be stabbed in the back. You know, the peace talks, it's not elections. They have, they have peace talks scheduled for April 15th, 14th through the 16th to set up future elections and new elections to form a new government. I believe UN backs talks aimed at drawing up a roadmap for new elections have been scheduled for the for the 14th through 16th of April in in the Libyan city of Gadams, Gadames. UN envoy uh, Gashan Salome insisted the talks would go ahead unless serious obstacles prevented it. You know, it's that it's just definitely getting uh, it's getting more serious. So, um, and it looks like um, uh, international forces are kind of just letting, letting, letting them fight it out and see see what happens. See who, who, who see who emerges as the winner. I have a feeling it's going to end up being this Khalifa Haftar. United States military evacuated a small contingent of troops.
from the Libyan capital on Sunday as rival militias raced to stop the forces of, of aspiring strongman Ger General Khalifa Haftar from taking control of the city. Tripoli is the north is Northern Africa's uh, the North African country's financial hub, receiving income from the sale of Libyan oil, housing the central bank, and paying the salaries of soldiers and public employees across the country. By Sunday morning, both sides have begun attacking from air using small and primitive air forces as they're at, uh, at their command, but the exact targets and extent of the damage cannot be immediately determined. General Haftar, 75, already has at least loose control over most of eastern Libya as well as important parts of the southern desert. His forces advanced on Tripoli this week, but has uh, ha has now put him in striking distance of fulfilling a five-year-old vow of re reuniting Libya under his rule. Some analysts, however, say that his extended supply lines he has extended his supply line so far that without a quick victory, he could be forced into a humili humiliating retreat. Residents in Tripoli said that, uh, the, that the two sides had spent the days mobilizing and deploying their forces with a more pitched battle expected on Sunday, today. By afternoon, residents reported that the coalition of Tripoli area militias was fighting to drive General Haftar's forces out of the town of Azizaya, about 20 miles southwest of Tripoli, representatives of the United Nations mission in Libya said on Sunday that it remained active in Libya and had not evacuated. That kind of contradicts the, the article over at the P BBC. But the United States military personnel had left by boat on Sunday morning, according to a resident who, who provided photographs of the ship as it departed. And that's not that those photographs are not provided in this article. The uh, security realities on the ground in Libya are growing increasingly complex and unpredictable. General Thomas Wald Waldhauser of the Marine Corps, the head of the United States Africa Command, said in a statement, even with the adjustment of the force, we will continue to remain agile in support of existing U.S. strategy. Libya collapsed into a patchwork of city-states after the ouster of uh, Qaddafi. Each city established its own militia, and multiple militias competed for control of the two largest cities, Tripoli in the west and Baghazi in the east. In Tripoli, some of the do dominant militias have also profited from extortion, migrant trafficking, and other illegal activities. It goes on and on. So that's, that's pretty much the situation now, and I expect that maybe fighting will be pretty intense today, even though the UN is calling for a ceasefire right now for the next two hours as they to allow emergency personnel to get in there and um, for, for, for to help the wounded and civilians, etc. It's pretty crazy. And that is uh, the story there, man. That is the story there. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.